Hey freaks, Barnes here. Back from another wild adventure into the bizarre and the unusual. A little banged up, a little bruised, but still in one piece, ready to bring you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, as I see it. Now let's see, uh, this particular journey started about a week ago, when I got word of several Sasquatch sightings up in the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. So off we went in search of the elusive Tennessee Bigfoot. Of course, we didn't find it, not even a single hair. But you know, there, um, there is this one proverb that says, the moment that you stop searching for something is the exact moment you find it. Sometimes something even better. Actually, you know, I don't know if that's a proverb or just some lame fortune cookie I got sometime. Anyway, um, okay, so we're driving back home through the backwoods of Georgia and we stumble across something unusual. Oh yeah, did I mention it was a dark and stormy night? Or an exit to hell, Paul. We know. Are we lost? Oh, yeah. It's not my fault. Hey, you're the one with the map, Magellan. You missed the turn. I want to thank you both for a wonderful weekend. <sighs> okay, look, I'm sorry we didn't find the Tennessee Bigfoot. Yeah, all we got was a six hour interview with this drunken hillbilly. <laughs> he was colorful. He was pale. His puke was colorful. What am I doing here anyway? You're adding legitimacy to the website. You got a taste of rural reality that's interesting to a psychologist, right? Mm -hmm. What I got is Lyme disease. It wasn't a tick. I feel like you would know. Look, I know a tick when I see one. The closest you've ever been to a tick is that twitchy thing Lon does when she thinks Derek's ignoring her. Lon doesn't have a twitch. She does when you ignore her. What? She likes you. Not like that. Yeah, like that. Stop. Look. Chloe, call 911. No service. Is anybody there? Is anybody hurt? Is anyone hurt? This is bad. Guys, look at that. What is that? Is that blood? Come on! Oh. Wait, where'd it go? It just disappeared, man. No, it can't just disappear. Oh. He's gone! Wait, who, who's gone? Wait, where? Where did he go? It's Cassie. That was her name. What she was doing out in the middle of the woods covered with blood was the complete mystery. She said that something had attacked their car and that it had taken her boyfriend Brandon Dunhill. While Chloe tried to calm her down, Jason and I searched the woods, but we came up empty. The sun was coming up and we had to get Cassie some help. The citizens of Owen's mouth were a little slow on the uptake, but they weren't what was bothering Chloe. It was the town itself. What'd you say the name of this town was again? Uh, Owen's mouth. Why? I don't know. It just seems familiar. Yeah, see? Thank God you're okay. Folks on the wreck? Yeah, good to see you. Thank you so much for helping her, for getting her out of the woods. Of course. Hey, you, you find her boyfriend? Oh, yeah. Not far from the vehicle. Come on, Chuck. Let's get her over to Doc Coates, all right? Come on, darling. Is he okay? She said that something got him. Yeah. Bottle of Jim Beam. Yeah, uh, she kept saying it... 
Well, you know, we have a bit of a bear problem up here from time to time, but you know, she's pretty scared right now. So it's just... It wasn't a bear! It wasn't a bear. It wasn't a bear. Sweetheart, let's go. Come on. Here we go. Now, wait, what was it, Sheriff? A bear. Look, she's in shock right now. Hey, what were you folks doing up in those woods anyway? We were looking for a way out. I mean, we missed a turn to the interstate. Uh, you got lost. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, the interstate's right up here. You make a right stoplight, just keep going. You can't miss it. No, wait a I second. I want to thank you for what you've done here and have a safe trip. Just have a safe trip. Hey, guys. You get the feeling that... We were uh, run out of town. On a rail. Here's your hat. What's your hurry? Guys, let's just let it go. It. Yep. Hey, a minute ago, you were wondering what you were doing here. I'm wondering about the threatened and somewhat suspicious small-town sheriff. No kidding. Owen's mouth. That's it. What? Who are you calling? Your place. I'm here. I'm looking for Lon. It's like 6 o'clock in the morning. Why don't you try her place? Trust me, she'll be at yours. Doing what? Probably sleeping in your bed. Hey, it's Derek. I'm either out surfing the waves or surfing the web. So... Leave a message. Lon, it's Chloe. If you're there, pick up. We need your help. How is Bigfoot? A bust. I'm glad you're there. So, what you up to? Oh, I'm defragging the hard drives. Yeah, can you do me a favor? Can you check the bookcase there for a book called Case Histories and Diagnostic Manual of Mental Disorders? Sure. Is that my book? Mine. Adam borrowed it. You ended up with it. I got it. Great. Can you see if there's an entry in there for Owens Mouth, Georgia? Owens Mouth, Georgia. Uh huh. What's it say? 1973. Fear induced catatonia in 37 year old man. Resident found in woods. No injuries. Psychotic break with reality. What else? Um. When they got him to talk, he said he saw some kind of forest god. It says here, quote, some kind of ancient evil, unquote. That's it? Yeah. What are you guys doing? Oh, just a little detour. Probably nothing. You uh, want to say hi to anybody? Nope. <sighs> so what's the deal? She's smitten. You've noticed her new perfume, haven't you? Quit. Your pillows will smell real nice. Not for it. So what do you want to do? Hey, sweet smelling pillows, comfortable bed, sounds pretty good to me. You? Well, professionally speaking, I'd like to explore the sheriff's reticence to outsiders and his compelling desire for insularity as it relates to the local community. Okay. You? Well, uh, since Bigfoot decided not to show, I'd like to salvage something for the website. You know, maybe we got something here. Two to one. Majority rules. So what, you official member of the Freaky Link Squad now? I'm just along for the ride. <laughs> well, thank you both for a very lovely weekend. Hey, what's going on, man? What's going on, man? My name's Derek. This is my buddy Jason right what's here. Up, man? What's going on? Hey, um, we run this website and we like we did like weird paranormal stuff. And uh, we wonder, can we ask you a couple of questions? Yeah, go right cool? ahead. Yeah, yeah. You ever go into the woods with your bike? No. Why not? The woods are haunted. Yeah, yeah, I know Brandon and Cassie. Brandon Dunhill? Yeah. It's a jerk with a drinking problem. Oh man. I tell you, we sure don't get many of those in this little town. Boy, I sure could use a hunk of fun like that. Oh, what is that the... a quarter-inch megapixel CCD? Uh, yeah, oh, my gosh. So. With the Zeiss Vario sonar lens. Uh, is that what uh -uh. it says? Uh -uh. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> you know, God. Wow. You know, deer population goes up, bear population goes up, then you get cubs. You get real protected mama bears. We had some trouble out there, I don't know, uh, 20, 25 years ago. Well, some hunters got all torn up. Yeah, and, uh... There was uh, just pieces everywhere. What was your view on that? Like, you think well, it's evil think it's, or no, what? I think it's a hoax. Oh, no, the woods are haunted. I mean, I just think it's those bears. I'm totally serious. So you honestly believe that? I, well, it's happened. Now, now what's the deal with that? Oh, uh, we document weird stuff and put it on the net. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah huh. last night was pretty weird for us. <laughs> <gasps> oh, my God. You're the ones who pulled Cassie from the from the woods. Well, you're gonna find it. It'll find you. Ghosts, bears, 
some kind of ancient evil, a lot of different people, and a lot of different theories. Finally, we found something real. We found Brandon Dunhill. Sort of. Is this thing on? Yeah. Cassie, say something brilliant. Happy homecoming! <laughs> and now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Brandon Dunhill doing what he does best, destroying brain cells. Hey, Brandon, gone to your left. Consume me raw, Tiff. Hey, nice watch. Where'd you get it? From me. Because he's the best tight end, half ass running stop ever. Shot that last night. I'm going to be a filmmaker. It's really good. No <laughs> way. So, hey, what happened at Dee Dee's? I heard Cassie freaked out. Yeah, she was pretty messed up. Yeah. Uh... Have you seen Brandon today? No, tried his hat. Yeah, no answer. Mm. Are yeah. these folks around? No, they're upstate as little sister swim meet. But Brandon's probably just hung over, sleeping it off. What makes you say that? Well, I heard the sheriff found him. You know, oh my God, Brandon's dad's gonna kick his ass when he finds out about his car. Oh my God. Right. So, uh, I got a lot of little movies at home. So, if you have time later, maybe. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. That'd yeah? be great. Oh, okay. Totally. Okay. Oh, um, okay, wait. After this party last night, where did everybody go? I oh, mean... we all left. I mean, only Brandon and Cassie stayed. He pitched a tent. <laughs> no, I mean, really, he pitched a tent. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping to get them, you know, homecoming night and all. <laughs> you couldn't pay me to stay up there that late. <gasps> yeah, why not? Things happen. Well, what kind of things? What? People die. It's been happening for years. Yeah, we heard you guys had a bit of a bear problem. Yeah, it doesn't happen a lot, but... You know, once is enough when it's your guts get eaten out, you know what I mean? But hey, I was thinking about making a movie about it. You know, like that one that came out with the kids running around in the woods. You know that one? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. No. yeah. yeah. Oh. Wait, hey, you guys aren't out here stealing my movie idea. Oh, uh, no, no, of course not. Oh, Look, um, <laughs> That's all we got. For, thank you so much. All right. Thanks. Oh, okay. Oh, no, wait. Um, Could you show us where Brandon pitched his tent? Oh, why? Oh, um, because, um, the other night, in all the excitement, I dropped my purse. We wouldn't even begin to know where to look. Okay, yeah, sure, but, like, I gotta get back to work. I work for, like, another four hours, so... Yeah? Yeah. Why don't you draw us a map? Okay, sure. Turn left at the ravine, and... There it is. didn't get the memo. Hello, can you hear me? Uh, you guys, Hello. I don't think we're going in the right direction. Jason, the car is this way, all right? Oh, no. How many times do I gotta go through this? Already yeah, please, please, please. Look. Oh, Jason, look out! Oh, wait! Jason! Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Oh. All right, okay, put it in. All right, let's just hold it, all right? Shouldn't be out here. We were on our way out. 
No, you're not. Your car is that way. Get in it and go, or you're gonna end up like that boy back there. Okay. I don't care what he says, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna go. They want action. He wants it all to go away. Yeah, I can relate. Thought you were leaving this morning. Yeah, well, we keep getting lost. Well, I guess Brandon Dunhill isn't sleeping it off after all, huh? I was trying to protect Cassie. But you knew he was dead. I had my suspicions. I mean, we're in the middle of a nature situation here. A what? Last year, the Department of Fish and Game told me this whole area Place, is... Uh, ripe for a bear problem, right? Yeah, we heard that, too. Look, just tell us what's going on, all right? What's going on is I got a dead boy and a town full of bored beer drinkers who have decided that hunting down a killer bear is their sole purpose in life. Sorry. Yeah. So how'd his arm end up in the tree? Cougar, most likely. What? Well, uh, <laughs> you got a cougar problem now, too? <laughs> and deer. It's called the food chain. You ever hear of it? Right. Food chain. Um, <laughs> how about this guy with the gun that scared us half to death? John Lockhart. Leave that man alone. He's harmless. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, Sheriff, uh, you ever hear of any ancient evil lurking around in these woods? Ancient evil? Look at... Yeah, do me a favor. Get out of my town. I see you guys again. I'm going to arrest you just for pissing me off. <laughs> you do know it's a free country, right? Yeah. This ain't the country, miss. It's Owen's mouth. Have a good day. I want a library. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get a good look at Brandon. Do what? At least what's left of him. You want to put that chewed off arm on the website, don't you? <laughs> you are a sick and disgusting man. The local boneyard. We had to get in, get the goods, and get out. But how to do that without arousing suspicion or winding up in jail? It would take stealth, subterfuge, and two Oscar caliber performances. Of course, all I had was Jason. Without being too indelicate, if I might ask, what was Mr. Shaft looking to spend? Oh, money's no object. Splendid. You see, Grandma Tilly? No, oh, damn! <laughs> she was very wealthy. <laughs> and it all went to John here. If you'd like, we can step into the showroom and discuss some possibilities. Can I use the restroom first? Certainly. Down the hall. And to your left.
If you'll excuse me a moment, I'm just going to make sure that Mr. Phelps isn't lost. Go, John, come with me. I will not let Grandma Tilly be laid to rest by an establishment that doesn't even have toilet paper seat guards for the toilet seats. I mean, who knows what kind of filth and disease is ramp... Come on, let's go. Okay, you've got the modem hooked up, right? Uh, yeah. And it's cabled to the cell phone? Uh-huh. And the cell phone's on? <laughs> uh, now it is. <laughs> okay, now what? Send it. That's it? That's it. All right, uh... All right. Uh-huh. Oh. God, what am I supposed to do with this information? Well, a local cop says that a bear bit it off. And you think Bigfoot did it? No, 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 we're off Bigfoot. Look, take this to the animal guy at the zoo. Uh, what's his name? Burchak. Yeah, that's it. I want you to confirm or deny a bear bite. If it isn't a bear, I need his best guess as to what might have done it. Okay. Thanks, Lon. I gotta run. Derek? Yeah. Be careful. Yeah, will do. Bye. Largest collection of highlights magazine I've ever seen. And? Goofus and Gallant Rule. And? Uh... But the woods around here are definitely spiked with increased incidents of violence. The pattern goes roughly in a 30 year cycle, give or take five years. It goes back to when this whole area was settled. Bears. That's what the data points to. No, wait, wait. What you're telling me is that every 30 years, this place breeds a whole bunch of pissed off yogis and boo boos? Fighting for food? Protecting their young. And eating all the locals? Come on. It's not really all that's happening happened in 1973, when that man was found catatonic in the woods. That same year, John Lockhart's nine-year-old son, Ezekiel, was found torn apart in the deepest, darkest part of the forest. No kidding. Yeah. That's brutal. Oh. One last thing. John Lockhart's dress. Now, why would we want that? Figured he'd be good to talk to, get his opinion on this whole bear thing. Very nice. So where does he live? The woods, the deepest, darkest part. Oh, hey, here's the picture. Careful, it's grim. What did you do to yourself? You look... Uh, you look great. The hair... And you lost those glasses. There's contacts? Yeah. Listen, how long before you can get back to me on this? How about at dinner tonight? You have to eat, right? Well, it, it's kind of a rush situation. All right. Give me a few hours. Great, thanks. Uh, so... so Tomorrow's Friday. Catch uh -huh. a movie? I'm pretty busy. Still working with Derek Barnes? Yep. Would help if I got some tattoos. What? Y you know, I have a real job. Running a website's a real job. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Let me take a look at this. I'll call you in a few hours. Okay. You look great. Thanks. You really do. two-bedroom ranch on the edge of town, could he? No, wait. Of course we'll. Uh, over there. All right, we're waiting here to talk to John Lockhart about the possibility of there being something in the woods, something deadly and dangerous. And he just pulled up. Stay down, all right? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up and talk to him. Okay, okay, get both of us in the shot. Mr. Lockhart! 
Listen to me. Hey, Mr. Lockhart, can we talk to you? Just keep walking. Don't look behind you. <laughs> the first thing they tell you when you're confronted with something like this out in the woods is not to panic and not to run. Run! Take your ghost! Go in the middle! Just keep running! Get down! You know that one dog in your neighborhood that everybody's afraid of? Chained up outside that scary looking house, barking all day, growling whenever anybody walks past? You know the one, okay. So you're walking home alone one day, and you see that dog. Only this time, he isn't tied up. And then the growling starts. So you take off running, but so does he. And he's out for blood. And man, he is fast. He is way faster than you. And, and, and you're trying to get your legs to go faster, afraid to look back. But you, you're sweating, and your adrenaline's all pumping, and your lungs feel like they're gonna explode. But this guy is still gaining on you. Now this is where I'm going with this. Take that feeling, multiply it by about a thousand, and you'll begin to understand what it felt like to be chased by that bear. The type of feeling that can drive any man to drink. Drink whiskey, not turpentine or whatever the hell that crap was. Was that the bear that killed Brandon? What do you care? I want to know about your son, Mr. Lockhart. I thought you might. And it wasn't it wasn't a bear back then either, was it? Thunderbird. Ancient evil. A Native American legend. Thunder came from flapping its wings and lightning from blinking its eyes. It was supposed to be a myth until people started seeing it carrying off pigs, deer, and children. Some people believe it migrates. Well, let me guess, every 30 years? Up and down the length of the Appalachian Mountains. And ending up here. Support Sheriff Mosley's wild bear in the woods theory. That theory almost killed you, boy. Sheriff Mosley doesn't believe in this. Man's got to think what he must to keep from going crazy. Look, sir, you don't have to do this alone. I mean, we can help you find it. This is my kill. No, we don't want to kill it. Then you are bigger fools than I thought. That thing's been sleeping for a long time. It's going to want to eat. I intend to give it indigestion. I've got something. Is Derek there? Yeah. One. Hey. There were no teeth marks. Well, what's that supposed to mean? The bone was cut with a single narrow crushing bite showed the same kind of injury that a fish gets when it's bitten in half by a pelican. A pelican? Don't they just sort of swallow fish whole? Not if they bite them. Wait, couldn't it have been like a, a vulture or some sort of condor? Well, that was his first thought, but the beak structure there results in a shearing cut. This wasn't sheared. It was a single, narrow, crushing break. Like a pelican? Yes. Oh, my God. What? Lon, you have to call me back, okay? I need you to send me a picture. Of what? And that's when it hit me. Pelican bite, Thunderbird, ancient evil. I knew what this thing was. And you do too if you're a true freaker. We've all seen the picture. All right, it's coming through. 
Derek, this is impossible. That's what they said about the coelacanth. What's that? It's this fish that everybody thought was extinct, but it isn't. And it's about to be blown out of the water by this. What, a, a pterodactyl man? A pteranodon, actually. They're much bigger. <laughs> Hold on, Derek. This whole Civil War thing could just be a hoax. No, 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 guys, Derek. Do the math. If you count backward in roughly 23 to 30 year chunks. Wait, Le Lon's right. If you count back every 30 years, you, you end up during the Civil War, right? Am I right? Am I doing the math right? It's close enough if you allow for cyclical variants. What if this whole Thunderbird legend was based on some prehistoric throwback, all right? And, and, and it hibernates for 30 years. And then it comes out and it flies around, eats some people, and checks out new car models. <laughs> and we could prove that by getting it on tape. Uh. Or we could prove these soldiers existed, check their regiment markings against troop whereabouts or movements or whatever in that area, you know? Can you do that? I can try. Yes. OK, great. Um, call me back if you get anything, all right? I'm on it. I'll talk to you later. Bye. We got a story. All right. <laughs> so, um, what are we going to do now? Oh, we're going to go shopping for deli meat. Oh, yeah. And then we're going <laughs> bird hunting. Oh, for the meat. yeah. Some deli food. Oh, Good job, girl. All right. Woo. Give us the uh -huh. give us the uh -huh. job. Yeah, we've been chumming around. Good job. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh. baby. Cool, 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 Dude, it's just baloney. Look at this. Smell it. Smell it. Wait, what? Have you? No, what would I eat this? Look at this. You guys have been eating this. What is that? What? Oh my god! Oh my god! I have no idea! Did you see it? No! What? What? Look at my car! Look, you're gonna get back in that vehicle, you're gonna go out to the main road, and from there you're gonna just keep going, and you no. will not come back! Wait, listen to listen us! Listen to me! No more people are gonna die in these woods, do you hear me? There is something amazing out there. No, there is incredible. not! There is nothing incredible! Now get in the car! You know what, you can pretend that it doesn't exist, but it does! And in 30 years, it's coming back! In 30 years, it's gonna be somebody else's problem. You can't mean that! Go. Hello. Bingo on the Civil War soldiers. I got them, and they were real. Hey, John. Sure. Where you headed? Sure, if you know I know these woods better than any man alive. And I still haven't found the thing that took my Zeke. So you think it exists? You believe it's real? Yeah. How many people are gonna have to die, Sheriff, sure, before you believe it too? I feel like I'm being dragged under here, John, like I'm in a hole down in the dark somewhere. This ain't anything that a man, rational or not, should have to. What's the matter? The matter was, without knowing it, the sheriff had just told Lockhart the thing that had killed his son was right under his feet. Not in some huge nest up in a tree. Not in some rocky cliff. He knew where the thing was that had killed his son, but he wasn't about to let Sheriff Mosley go down there with him. John, hey, you ain't down in the dark, Sheriff. And you ain't gonna be. 
Okay, go ahead, Lon. Their letters stored in the Library of Congress that describe an encounter a certain regiment had in the spring of 1865. This is from Corporal Dan Wilson of the Indiana Rifle Brigade. But the battle with Reb became the least of our concerns. For on the passage north, we came across something most terrible. An enormous creature, a bird unlike any I have ever seen. Within a shallow ravine in the northern heart of the forest, this bird, if that's what it was, had hidden itself underground. Okay. It's underground. The ravine. Campsite. Right in the Cassie's camp. Come on. Is this it? I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure. No, yeah, this is it. Okay. Brandon's arm was up in that tree over there. And the tent was that way, so the ravine... The ravine has to be this way. Yes! Hurry! Hurry! Go away! Where are you? You see him? front of me. The cave. It had been there the whole time. Millions of years, probably. And what was waiting inside had been around a lot longer than that. I, I, I know I should have waited for Jason and Chloe, but I couldn't. I had to see it. All right, freakers. Here we are. About to go into the cave. <laughs> Oh, 
Trying to do since you got here, kid. Oh, oh we need Lockhart. No, he's dead. He was dead before I got to you. Yeah. Are you, are you all right? Yeah. Oh, what happened? I'm sorry. I saw it. I saw something. Maybe it was a bear, maybe not. I don't know. No, you know. Well, whatever it was, it looked like it was overdue for extinction. Yeah, whatever it was. I can say with absolute certainty that there was something out in those woods. Was it a giant flying reptile? Maybe. You'll have to decide that for yourselves. But this much I do know. The people of Owen's mouth will be safe in those woods outside of town. And life will go on. Without fear. Without terror. Sadly, without John Lockhart. He wouldn't give up. Determined to destroy the thing that had defined his life for the last 27 years, he destroyed himself. Let that be a lesson to you. Every once in a while, you gotta stop, hang up the obsession, smell the roses. You never know if you're ever gonna see him bloom again. Barnes out.